So guys, in this series of videos, we talked about a lot of Python stuff. Uh, we talked about what operators are in Python. We did some exercises. We talked a lot about strings, have strings, formatting, and all that good stuff. Now I'll tell you something about for loop. Uh, now there is something called else with for loop. Now again, you might be thinking, hey Harry, you told me about if statement and you told me about uh, elif and else uh, statement. Now uh, let me create a new file here for you guys and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. So I'll close this explorer. I'll also close this output window. I'll zoom in a bit and I will say, uh, let me start with the program. I will simply say my list or let me say uh, brands is equal to and we'll list some brands here. We'll say Apple, we'll say Microsoft and then uh, we'll say uh, Nokia and uh, I'm just I'm just uh, writing some random brands here and then we'll say HP and then again we'll say uh, Everready. Now I'll control S to save uh, and I will now use a for loop I'll say for uh, item in brands and I'll simply say print uh, the sorry i was supposed to put an f here and i'll say the name of this brand is and i'll say item because i'm using this uh, item as my temporary variable and i am my trading over this item so what i'll do is i'll run this program now and no surprises it will give me the name of this brand is apple followed by microsoft nokia hp and Everready. Now, since this is the first time I'm running my Python program after launching Visual Studio Code, uh, it might take some time. So you will have to give it its time. Uh, it will take some time to open the terminal, then it will run this command and it takes some time. So for the first time only. The name of this brand is Apple. The name of this brand is Microsoft and it, uh, so we used for loop to iterate and it iterated through the list uh, brands. Now, uh, what if I say that, uh, okay, you print the name of this brand is item, but, 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 if item is equal to, if item is equal to, uh, say, HP, then you have to break. Now, since I'm breaking uh, at HP, I will get the name of the brand is Apple, then I'll get Microsoft, then Nokia, then HP, and I'll miss this one, uh, the very fifth brand. So if I run this program once again, you will see the uh, for loop terminated at HP. Uh, so nothing new here, we have already talked about this stuff, but uh, there is something I want you guys to uh, know, and it is else with for loop. So let us say I write else and I say print. Uh, this is else after for loop. So I'll say control S to save. And as you saw, I got no warnings from my linter of Visual Studio code. Uh, if I type something like this, which is not a valid syntax, I will get uh, some warnings here, some red lines here, as you can see here. So I have some red lines here. Uh, now let me uh, let me remove this and let me press Control S to save. And now if I remove this, if item is equal to equal to HP and uh, I check for uh, for any syntax errors, I'll not get any syntax error. And exactly the same thing. Uh, we got Apple, Microsoft, Nokia, HP, ever ready. But here we went inside the cell statement. We uh, got our uh, print statement printed on the output window, which is this is else after for loop if you, uh, if you look at here. You'll see that we have Apple, Microsoft, Nokia, HP, Everready, and then we have this print statement which says this is else after for loop. So the question is, is this else statement always executed with for loop? And why do we use else with for loop? Now I'll answer this question. Now I'll show you something and that will explain it even better. And I'll just simply remove these comments from these two lines and I'll press control S to save and I'll run this program. And as you just saw, the else statement is not executed anymore. I am not saying any, this is else after for loop anymore. What's the reason for that? So let me tell you what else with for loop means. If I have a break statement and I am successfully able to break the for loop using my break statement, 
I will not have uh, anything which is uh, inside else executed. On the other hand, if I do not have a break statement or if my break statement fails, uh, that is if my item is uh, not equal to this thing and the break statement is never executed, what will happen is I will see my else print this is else after for loop uh, on my output window. So in a nutshell, we can use else with for loops, which will only be executed if we uh, successfully execute the for loop. But in case we break it, if we break it, they are not executed. So else will be executed only if there is no break encountered. But if you encounter a break statement, then else will not be printed. So in this case, else, this is else after for loop will not be printed. So this is something that you'll see in open source codes and you might wonder, hey, what is this for with else statement? Now you know what is for with else statement. You know when else will get executed, when it will not get executed. So all you have to do is you have to go to your for, uh, for loop and then you have to check for any break statement. If it encounters a break statement, then you will not go inside the else. But if your for loop is successfully executed, successfully prints all the values of the list of, or all the values that it is supposed to print, then you will see print this is else after for loop. For example, if I remove this if statement, then you will see uh, this is else after for loop printed. But in case you encounter a break, you will not see this is else after for loop as we see here. So I hope it is clear to all of you and now you guys will be able to use else with for loop. Uh, and even if you see it in some open source repository, you will be able to, uh, you know, uh, make out what's happening there. So uh, make sure to like this video guys. And if you haven't already accessed the playlist, I urge you to access this playlist and bookmark it as soon as possible so that uh, you can access all these videos. Also, uh, if you haven't saved the playlist, save it and like this video. So thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.